those are my questions, but I couldn't express to them. But I was just awestruck, like, what? How could a medical profession say this? Hello, friends. Welcome to another episode of My Life Experiences. My name is Wezi Nyaniwa Sosola, your usual host. If you are new to this channel, this is a place, a platform where we share life experiences with the hope that someone may listen, be inspired, and learn from these experiences. Sometimes I do bring guests as well to this channel to share their life experiences. As you know in life, we grow through life lessons, either from oneself or from other people. That's how we grow in life. And this channel is all about sharing those life stories, sharing those life moments, those life highlights, either big or small, those moments that have made us, those moments that have transformed us, those moments that have developed us and grown us and inspired us into the people that we are today. That's what we are all about on this channel. And in this particular episode, I'm talking about my botched surgery. It's a continuation of another episode that I shared some few weeks ago. I shouldn't have made it through. Please, if you are new to this channel and you haven't watched I Shouldn't Have Made It Through, please go back, watch I Shouldn't Have Made It Through, and come transition together with me to this particular episode. Then off we will go to another episode that um, I'm going to share at a later moment. But I would really encourage you to watch at them. Uh, them together so that you get the gist of what is it exactly that I'm talking about. This particular episode is just one of those episodes in the series, My Birth Stories, My Birth Stories, where I'm sharing experiences that I've gathered through my birthing experiences, bringing forth children to this world, to this earth. And someone may be saying, Wesley, why are you even talking about this job subject? Is it worthy to talk about in these modern days? I'm saying, yes, it's worth to be talked about. Because from the beginning of creation, the woman has been given that responsibility to multiply this earth. Of course, God, when he created the heavens and the earth, he said, man, multiply the earth, populate, repopulate, repopulate. And that, that responsibility was placed on the woman's shoulders. The man was putting the seed in the woman's womb. The seed could fertilize the egg. It would grow in an embryo, then into a fetus, until when it's a fully blown, matured baby to be brought forth in earth. And the woman has been doing this noble duty for countless years, populating the earth, repopulating the earth, bringing forth offsprings to this world. But that responsibility has not come with no challenges. There have been so many challenges that has come with it. Others may say, women of today, you are not strong. You are just having two, three children. But in those times, women were having uh, 12, 13, 14, 9 children. So countless. Yes, I give it to them. Women of old, they were so strong. They were doing so many manual labor so that they were very strong, they could easily give birth to children. But, but there were also some women, a lot of them, who were losing their lives. Talk about Rachel, the wife of Jacob, the mother of Joseph and Benjamin. When she brought forth Benjamin, she named him, I think, Benoni, saying, child of my sorrows or something like that. Then she lost her life. Then the name of Benoni was changed to Benjamin. But at that point, Rachel lost her life, giving birth to a child. You talk about the daughter-in-law of a priest, Eli. She lost her life in the process of bringing birth. And there are so many women. If you look at the biblical history or other history at large, you'd see that so many women have been losing their lives through the process of childbirth. The process has not come with its own challenges. It has a multitude of problems. To the point that women have been having, apart from losing their lives, they've been having fistula incontinence. They become smelly and their husbands could leave them for younger women. Developing a chronic conditions in the body just because of that process of bringing forth children in this earth. It's just with the advent of modern medicine and the advancement in the medical technology that a lot of women's lives are being saved these days. Of course, some women are still losing their lives, but the advancement in the medical um, technology has helped a lot because right now you can intervene when the baby is right in the uh, woman's womb. You can maybe give um, 
supplements you can give iron you can give what what have you and even sometimes maybe through the surgeries you can help a woman give birth to the child and so on and so forth so the advancement of the medical technology has really helped the survival of the woman in the birthing process however continuing with my story from the previous episode i shouldn't have made it through i was talking about how i felt i was dealt unjustly by the medical professionals who handled me i felt from the ex- my past experiences of giving birth comparing with this particular experience i felt as if i was dealt with negligently that's how i lost a lot of blood that's how i was so weak that's how even after being discharged from the hospital i went back home i was still feeling very weak my legs were just swelling all the time when sleeping i could sleep with my legs up just to to help them um to reduce the swelling and after a few weeks when i'm dressing my incision i observed that on the area where the incision was it was very hard very hard you know skin is supposed to be soft but it used to be hard like a rock it was so hard and i noticed that for a, a period of i think a week but then it became even more soft such that when i could um put my uh, hand like this it could just go in like boop, boop. so the skin is supposed to be at least firm but in that instance it wasn't being so firm it was just going in it's like my hand was going in so the point where it was hard started becoming soft after a while i observed that it started budging out it could go outside it could budge out then i would try to push it in my hand would go inside like that then it could budge out on the incision area it was a very big concern so what i was doing to intervene on that I just took a cloth and I could tie it around my incision area just to bring the badge back inside. And at that point I was waiting for my 6 weeks postnatal checkup with the doctor. It wasn't painful. The wound outside from the outside it had healed. So I could just tie it around. Until when it came to the 6 weeks mark, I had an appointment for my postnatal check up my first one after the surgery i got i got ready early in the morning i went to the hospital it was an evening appointment it was my turn to meet the doctor i knocked on the doctor's office they responded i opened the door i got in and guess what the first comment that came from that doctor they were like Am I in Mulibo? Mama been paid it. Like, are you still alive? You are so prayerful. Lady, you are still alive. Am I in Mama been paid it? Mulibo. Just imagine you are going to meet your doctor for a postnatal checkup. My hearing was so problematic. I've got my ch- my child in my hand. I open the door. And the doctor instead of even greeting you is like Lady, are you still around? You are so prayerful. Am I in Mulibo? Mama been paid it. And I just said, "Yes, I pray." And Mama been paid. That's what I said. And that was like so weird to me. How do you go into a doctor's office and they said, "Am I in Mulibo? Mama been paid it. Are you still alive? You are so prayerful." I mean, I was like, "What is this doctor talking about?" You see? I sat on the chair. and I explained my situation and this particular comment just strengthened the assumptions that I was talking about that I made that I was dealt in justly they did something to me they thought I would lose my life but thank god my life was sustained my life was retained that's why they were surprised am I in mulibo mama been paid it not even a greeting nothing like that just those comments coming from a medical professional that's when i knew that there are some other professionals that are not good people at all and women are losing their lives maybe just out of negligence where is professionalism where is ethics in this situation just because of that comment that was made to me what did they think would happen to me 
those are my questions but i couldn't express to them but i was just awestruck like what how could a medical profession say this i explained my situation how my healing process was it was problematic it was difficult and i even explained that on the incision it wasn't firm enough it was going in like this and it was also budging out i untied what i i had it tied on this i had that tied something then i untied it i laid it down on the uh, doctor's checking table or is it a bed that is found in the doctor's office i laid there they started checking me on that incision then they said oh yes there is a um, what we call an incision or hernia said it's an incision or hernia and what we are going to do we just do a small cut and repair it tizango ngamba bangono ndikukonza amene bato kusoka and the way they were making it sound as if it's a small procedure we we'll just do a small cut and and fix it repair it they were making it sound as if it's a very small procedure but if your time has not come woman just know that you are surviving this god is preserving you for a purpose no man shall end it unless god allows it this is the end of this particular episode i'm going to continue from there how did i proceed to make a correction to this error that had happened to me how was it repaired thank you so much friends don't forget to like to subscribe and to share please stay blessed Now I just want to encourage someone maybe you found yourself in situations and circumstances you are losing hope and you are getting so anxious because of the situation you are in it's not over until it's over only god has got the final say only god has got the final say and he shall preserve you until you accomplish the purpose for which he has placed you on earth for and it's not over until god says according to Matthew 25 verse 21 Well done my good and faithful servant enter into the joy of your lord they may orchestrate against you they may plan against you but they shall be dismayed